Scott of the Scott Man. We're here doing drive video today. We are heading north on I-75 North. We're technically I-71 and I-75 North because we're about to go over the Ohio River, coming over from Covington, Kentucky, entering Cincinnati, Ohio. Left two lanes for I-75 North, right In two half lanes. half a mile, keep left at the fork to continue on I-75 North. Follow signs for David. Right two lanes for I-71 North, as well as access to the riverfront for Cincinnati and also to the football stadium where the Cincinnati Bengals play and also the Great Keep American Ballpark to continue on I-75 North where the Cincinnati Reds play. Welcome to Ohio. So then after crossing the Ohio River we are now in Cincinnati, Ohio. Continue for 192 miles. And the state of Ohio. And off to the right is downtown Cincinnati. Some of these exits over here, including the 5th Street exit, that will take you over into downtown Cincinnati. It is a beautiful day out today. It's sunny and a little chilly, but not too bad. My car thermometer is reading 43 degrees Fahrenheit. Convert, convert that to Celsius, it's around 6 degrees. So, not all that bad out. And... It makes it even nicer when there's clear skies. Not only that too, but the traffic's not all that bad. But I just got done filming a whole bunch of driving videos on my way back from Alabama today. The most recent one I just filmed was on I-71 from Carrollton, Kentucky, going over to where it merges on with I-75, and I should probably get over. But yeah, I wanted to do this video a long time ago, but I for, can't remember why I didn't film this. I, I think it was because I wasn't coming over from Kentucky for the last time I was down here in Cincinnati for more than just driving through. But this video is not going to be really all that long because I am running low on battery space and I haven't had time to change my battery or anything. Plus, going all the way up to Dayton, Ohio, this video will be a little lengthy. So I'm going to be filming all the way up to, to I-275 North in Ohio, not I-275 Michigan. Because I would not be able to do that in one video, going all the way up to I-275 in Michigan. So I-275 I mean, I can be quite busy in Cincinnati. But thankfully with it being in the weekend, it's not all that bad today. Yeah, there is a lot of traffic, but thankfully it's moving moving along pretty well. But one thing I like about the Cincinnati area is that it is very hilly, especially with this being around the Ohio River. Because, yeah, it's... A, because once you get out of Cincinnati, you get a lot of rolling hills until you get out to like the Dayton, Ohio area. Then once you get north of there, then that's where it starts flattening out a little bit. Pretty much all the way up to Michigan. And then coming up here, we have an exit for I-74 West, which that'll take you out to Indianapolis. So yeah, this is where I-74 begins, over here in Cincinnati. So the exit for that is coming up to the right. But to stay on I-75 north to go toward Dayton, you'd be staying over here in the left four lanes. Because yeah, here's the exit for, exit for I-74 here. say oh that's right so yeah there are a lot of freeways in the, in the Cincinnati area and then yeah when I was mentioning about I-275 earlier what's really cool about I-275 is two things one unlike the I-275 in Michigan the I-275 here in Ohio does a full loop around Cincinnati as well as Covington Kentucky so it's completely circular well it's not a perfect circle but you get you, you get what I mean 
Uh, what's cool is that I-275 goes through three states. It goes through Ohio, of course, but it also goes through Kentucky and a little bit of Indiana. Because in the Cincinnati coming to metropolitan area, that's where Indiana, Ohio, and Kentucky all meet up. But yeah, I think if I remember correctly from a few years ago, they were doing a lot of road work here. So it's nice to see all this done. But yeah, I don't know if it's just me, but I'm seeing a lot of haze off to the north and northeast of here. I was seeing that a little, a little bit as it was approaching the Cincinnati metropolitan area, but I don't know. We'll see as I keep driving, but probably won't notice it in this video because again, this video is not going to be all that long. But yeah, this is already the fifth driving video that I've filmed today because I have filmed a lot of them coming up from Alabama. But this will this will be the last driving video that I'll be filming on this road trip because my voice is starting to get a little tired. <laughs> because yeah, it's like when you add up the driving videos I filmed today, including this one, it's gonna be over two hours of content, maybe closer to two and a half. But yeah, it's like over here, it's like off to the left, I see a lot of different industrial plants in this area. So it's like nothing that inspiring or anything, but it's like, it's like people gotta make a living somehow and you gotta, you gotta make products to make money, you know? So it's understandable. They already have tickets on sale for Cincinnati Reds baseball games. And coming up here, it's like if you miss that exit to I-71 in downtown Cincinnati, you can get off here at State Route 562 and that'll take you over to I-71 as I-71 will head up to Columbus and then eventually ends up in Cleveland. Where I-75 stays here in the western Ohio, going up to Dayton, Ohio, then eventually to Toledo before crossing over into Michigan to Detroit.
everybody. I'm just glad the weather is really nice because I, I just remember when I was driving down to the south a week and a half ago, real time, there was a lot of melting snow. So because of that, it was causing all the, there was a lot of pot, ponding on the roadway. So it's like I was getting a lot of crud splashing up on my windshield. Thankfully, that's not the case today. So as a result, I'm, I'm Result of that, I'm able, able to have a much more pleasant drive. Yeah, I get, yeah, I, yeah, I heard that one. Some type of a nick in the windshield, but I think it's a tiny one, thankfully. Nothing major. But yeah, I ended up having my windshield replaced back in the summer of this past year because I got a really nasty nick in the windshield that I ended up having cracks spreading out from it. I was on my way to work one morning. And thankfully, it's like thankfully I've not had anything really happen to it since then. So I've been very thankful for that. And this is a really cool stretch here, like going through Arlington Heights. As this stretch of I-75, it's like you got a little bit of a neighborhood in between the northbound and southbound lanes of I-75. So I've always thought this stretch was pretty cool. Yeah, one of 
these days too, the next time I come back down the Cincinnati area, whether it's to Cincinnati or if I'm driving back down south and I want to come back up this way, I definitely want to film a video on I-75 North, continuing from where we end this video from I-275, going all the way up to probably I-70 near, like to the northwest of Dayton, or north of Dayton, Ohio.